Amen. Praise God before. Amen. Eating the word of God before the word of God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's sing the song. Amen. Steal. If you know the song, sing with us. Amen. Jesus, that is an act of faith. 
when you step out of the chair and walk down the aisle and kneel down, God, I need a healing. I need a blessing. I need direction. Hallelujah. That is an act of faith. Praise God. If you are here today, between now and the time we close this service, uh, and you really need something, well, act in faith. Do something to show faith. God, I believe in you. Praise God. I'd like to read today uh, some scripture to you in Judges. And in St. John. I'm going to read St. John first, Brother uh, Luther. St. John chapter 12. I'll begin at verse 24, 20, 25, 26. And it reads like this. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Father, I pray, God, for this word today, that it would go forth in power and in demonstration of the Holy Ghost. God, we're living in a time of day where we need to hear from heaven. God, we don't need to hear just men's words, but God, we need to hear an effective message, God. We need to hear words as the oracle of God. Oh, God, today I pray that these words would become just that. Lord, that they would become spiritual explosions in the hearts of the people, God, and become that which they need in their life today. Dear God, we pray it. Lord, in the holy name of Jesus, sanctify us, dear God, for that cause and for that purpose, Lord Jesus. Uh, we give you praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated today. Praise God. In Judges chapter 6, we read the story about a man called Gideon. And I want to just preach about him just a little bit here today. But before I do that, the title of my message today is Ineffective Lives. Ineffective Lives. I was reading a book on uh, administration and leadership here some time ago. And I, and I was amazed at the statistics. But they say only one person out of 10,000 find a place to grow their gift and to grow their life. Only one out of 10,000. So that tells me more than likely the percentages, the chances are here today that somebody, and perhaps more than somebody, many, are here today and you have not found your place. You have not found your niche in life. You have not found that place that God has destined for you to be so that you can become your best, so that you can grow, so that you can begin to be a testimony and a witness uh, in this dark world of the power of Jesus Christ. Can I get a witness today? Amen. Amen. It says except a grain of corn fall into the ground and die it will bide alone. Amen. A seed must die before it can produce fruit. We, we bury a seed. Amen. And we cover it up and we put water on it. And after some time, that seed will pop up. You know, seed is a very powerful thing. A seed is a very powerful thing. Years ago, when they, they found the, in the pyramid the body of King Tutankhamun, they found in his 
forget what you call it, an esophagus. Amen. Or in his his casket, in his tomb, they found a seed. A seed somehow had found its way into the, the casket of this, this king. Two thousand years have come and gone. And they took that seed and they put it in the ground. And they watered it and it sprouted. Praise God. A seed is a powerful thing. Let me tell you something today. You are not forgotten. You are not forgotten. Because God has put inside of you a seed. There is a seed that He has placed in you. The Bible says that as a seed, a grain of mustard seed is faith. You don't need a whole lot of faith. You don't need a lot of faith. But the Bible says in another place, Jesus said, I have given a portion of faith to everybody. You have inside of you a very dynamic and powerful thing called the seed of faith. Amen. You have not been forgotten. Your life may have went off the tracks. You may find yourself in the ditch of life. Amen. But take courage today and take hope today because somewhere down inside of your bosom, hallelujah, God has said, I have put a seed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. The secret for you today is bring that seed and let it be planted. Amen. Bring that seed to Jesus. And you do that by surrendering your life. Hallelujah. And dying to this world. And dying to yourself and say, Jesus, I give you my life. Hallelujah. And you do that. Hallelujah. Something begins to happen. Amen. Something just begins to work down inside of you. And first thing you know, that little seed begins to just come up. Oh, hallelujah. I read an article some time ago in New York City. Uh, amen. The asphalt got was busted. And, and they had to go repair it. And said, what caused this, this, this asphalt to, to break in two? And they went and inspected it. And it was a little seed uh, that begin to grow. Hallelujah. And it fought its way through all that asphalt, rocks and everything, and made its way and it split the asphalt. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister today, brother today, I don't know how old you are. I don't know how young you are. But I'm going to tell you this. God's Word is true. God's Word does not lie. Hallelujah. And you are, you are a a a a, 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 a a miracle waiting to happen. Hallelujah. You are, hallelujah, a, a, a blessing of God just waiting to pop up if you will do the right thing. If you will believe, if you will make an act of faith and say, Jesus, I will serve you. Hallelujah. And you can be ready. Something good is going to happen in your life. Can I get a witness? Uh, clap your hands if you believe what I'm saying here today. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. It's not about how old you are. It's not about how young we are. Or hallelujah. It's not about how much time has gone by. The, the, the secret to this type of success is to be ready. To be ready. Amen. No matter what age you are. We read in the Bible, Moses was 80 years old before it began to happen for him. We read about Abraham and Sarah. They were 90 years old before it began to happen for them. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. But it happened. Amen. But it happened. Amen. Joseph went to prison. Joseph went to jail. Joseph went all through types of suffering. But the day came, hallelujah, when Joseph was sitting on the throne next to the Pharaoh. Hallelujah. Praise God because inside of everybody here today, inside of each and every one of you here today, hallelujah, it's not how long it's been. It's not how much time has gone by. But are you ready today? Are you ready today? 
Are you ready today to put his God to put his hand on you? Are you ready today for God to begin to bless you? Are you ready today to say, yes, Lord, I will? Are you ready today, amen, to say, Lord, uh, come into my life. Uh, make the difference. Make the change. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I saw in this text here today, the Israelites were in bondage. They were... They were in bondage. You know why they were in bondage? Because they were afraid. Fear has torment, the Bible says. Fear is a bondage. If you have fear in your life, it will destroy you. Fear will sap every bit of energy out of you. Fear will take out, amen, the, your, 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 will rob your soul. Hallelujah. Of everything that it has. Uh, fear is the enemy of faith. Uh, fear is the enemy to the child of God. Uh, fear is something that we need to conquer and overcome. Uh, and put it under our feet. Hallelujah. And say I will fear no more. Uh, because Jesus is my high tower. And Jesus is my rock. Uh, hallelujah to God. I will fear no more. Hallelujah. And so they were under bondage. And in fact, the Midianites, the neighboring country, they knew they had they had Israel. We call it Buffalo. They had they were in the mind of the Israelis. And they were going high. They, when the harvest was ready and the fields were ripe, here would come the Midianites and they would steal all the wheat and all the Kalabokia. They'd take all of it and go. Amen. So what the, what the Israelis would have to do, they would have to go and harvest some of their field and then they would go and hide. They would go and hide behind the threshing floor. They would go hide in a den or in a cave somewhere. And there they would begin to process uh, the grain that they had taken out of the field so they can they can make some uh, some uh, some breads, amen, and make some pitas and make some sopapillas, hallelujah, hallelujah. They because the Midianites would come and steal it away from them. We find this story in this situation when Gideon, the Bible says, he was hiding. He was hiding. Now, that's a horrible way to live, hiding. That's a horrible way to live, afraid, being bullied. Bullied. Has anybody ever been bullied? There's a lot of bullies in the world. You don't have to have a million knives. You don't have to have a whole government against you. Sometimes you can have just somebody in the same polykotikia. Sometimes you can have just somebody in the same boarding house. Amen. And they boss you and they, and, they, and they bully and they take your things and they put you down and they won't allow you to have any happiness or they will say things about you and they will mock you and make fun of you. Amen. That's a horrible place to live. But I'm standing here before you today to tell you you don't have to live like that. To be served God, you don't have to live that way. You can be victorious in God. And this So Gideon, he was all hiding. But... Hallelujah. Obitike. Ovumen. Wotan. Hallelujah. Patrick Siligaki. Kitasi Kofi. He was living in fear. He was living in fear. I don't want anybody to live in fear. I don't want you to live in fear. Hallelujah. Look, I've been in Greece for a long time. There's nobody in this church, amen, that predated me. I don't think. Hallelujah. 
Amen. That was actually in the church. Some of you were backsliders and came back, but hallelujah. I, we were here when, it, when everybody was illegal. We was here when the, they wasn't two people in the whole church that were legal. They were all illegal. Hallelujah. Amen. But you know one thing that we did? Some of you may still be illegal. Hallelujah. Amen. But God loves the illegal. Hallelujah. God, God loves you just the same. Amen. You don't have to live in the torment. Serve the Lord. Give your heart to God. Surrender to Jesus. And live in peace. Glory to God. Well, I've got some stories to tell about people hiding, trying to get away. Actually, do y'all know Sister Sati? She's in London. She is uh, Rita's sister from Crete. And uh, she used to, was in the church here. But her husband was in the church in Crete when I was a pastor down there. And uh, so they arrested him because he did not have the papers. And he was in jail, and we would go every day and bring him some food to eat, and how you do here, because they don't feed you very good. And uh, uh, But there he was in jail, and he was trying to find a way, and we prayed, and we finally got peace over there. I said, Brother Manuel, just let God do what he wants to do. And you know what? They sent him out of the country. We thought, oh my. He's gone back to the country. He don't want to go there, but that's what God, God had ordained for him to be. Amen. But you know what happened? Hallelujah. The, the story didn't end there. Amen. Brother Manuel, he's living in London now, married to Sophie, and got two or three kids. Amen. Back then, he wasn't even married. Hallelujah. But God found the way. God found the way because inside of his heart, there was a seed of faith to have a better life. Amen. There was a seed of faith to have something better. Praise God. And God will do the same for anybody. God will do the same for anybody. Hallelujah. But we cannot allow fear to rule our lives and keep us down. Oh, Jesus. Praise God. My biggest fear is that my wife will leave me. Because <laughs> she's got all the money. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I'm going to have my, I better be careful what I eat today. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. But this was a situation here for, for Gideon. But, you know, the Bible says that the Lord's eye is over the sparrow. He knows the very hair on your head, how many you got. I keep him busy, though. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Calculating how many I have or don't have. But he knows. Amen. When the sparrow falls, he knows. Amen. The flower of the fields, he knows. Praise God. And he knows about the sparrow, and he knows about the flat uh, flowers. If he knows about the hair in your head, believe me, sister, he knows about you. Uh, and he knows your situation. He knows right where you are. Glory be unto the name of the Lord. And I find what happened to Gideon very amazing to me. Because Gideon was hiding. But the Lord sent him an angel. That God sent him an angel. I believe in angels today. If you don't believe in angels, start right now. One, two, three, start. You believe in angels. If you believe in Tinkerbell, you should believe in angels. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Angels are real. Angels are real beings of God's creation. God has placed angels in the church to minister to His children, to His people. The scripture plainly says that angels are ministering spirits to the saints. Hallelujah. Besides reading in the Bible how many times angels appeared, not just in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament, in the same church that you and I are in today. How many times angels were present? Praise God. I'll tell you, in this church, at this crossroads church, uh, angels 
have appeared in this very building. Uh, angels have showed themselves. Uh, angels have sung inside this building by themselves. People, many people, hallelujah, maybe a hundred people one time was in that church when the angels began to sing, praise God. Angels are real things. I have seen angels here. Amen. Others, Sister Donna has seen the angels. Uh, brother, 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 uh, brother, uh, I see the Joshua Ron or something. Brother Hallow, he's seen angels. Praise God. Uh, how many have seen angels? How many of you have had an angel come? Praise the Lord. How many? Come on. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. 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 How, how many have been in a room and you're praying and all of a sudden you feel like somebody's here? And you, and you open your eyes and you look around to see who it is. I tell you, amen. It was the angels of the Lord that were there. If it wasn't Jesus himself, praise God. They were there. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about this. I'm not talking about, amen, the strange things. I'm talking about the truth of God. I'm talking about what the Bible says. Amen. And, and so Gideon, he was hiding. And there was a, Bible says there was an angel sitting under the tree. That tells me about the angel, something, you know, angels. Here he was, he was just sitting under the tree. He was sipping his cappuccino. <laughs> That's pretty. Well, when old, old Gideon gets by, I'm all going, I got to talk to you. God sent me down here. I'm, all, I'm waiting right here by this tree. I know Gideon, he's going to show up around here after a while. Hallelujah. So he's, he's just sitting by the tree. That's what the Bible said. And so finally, he spies those Gideon. Ah. And so he gets up. And he walks over to Gideon. Gideon! That's French for Gideon. <laughs> Gideon, and he, 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 he said, Thy, these are the first words, Thy mighty man of valor. Now that don't compute. That doesn't make reason. There he was hiding, scaredy cat, afraid for the Midianites going to come and steal his weed. Amen. And the angel comes and calls him a mighty man of valor. Hallelujah. How do you figure that out? I'll tell you how you figure it out. Because see, God sees what you don't see. Amen. Just like He chose the king. Amen. He chose David over all of his brothers that looked better. Hallelujah. But He told Samuel, not this one, not this one, not this one, not this one, not this one. Oki afton, oki afton, oki afton. Epitelos le tutos. Hallelujah. This one. Hallelujah. Praise God. And he anointed uh, David to be the king. Glory to God. God, according to Samuel, says, God doesn't look on the outward, but he sees the heart. Glory to God. Oh, he sees the heart. He knows what's in your heart. Praise God. He don't care if you're bald-headed. I know for a fact. Amen. He don't care how handsome you are. So some of you guys and some of you ladies that Spend too much time in the mirror primping and hallelujah trying to amen. That you're not going to impress God. In fact, you might might upset God. Hallelujah. Amen. But anyhow, that's not what it is. God wants to know how about your heart? How about your heart? How about your heart? Is it right with God? Hallelujah. People often see you as you are on the outside. But Jesus really knows you. For he sees inside. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. God sees when you look at somebody and jealousy is in your heart. He sees that. Hallelujah. God sees, amen, when you hear something and you, and you get upset and you get mad at somebody because they said that. Hallelujah. But God sees all these th things that are in our hearts. And so we have to keep our hearts clean. We have to keep our hearts pure. Glory be to God. 
And so God, he saw that in this man, this, this man hiding over here, Gideon, uh, he looked in his heart and God said, I see a mighty man. I see a mighty man of valor. I see a warrior. I see a great leader in this person. Hear me today. Hear me today. Hallelujah. There are some people in this house, you have not come into your place. Some of you in this place today, you have not arrived, amen, to that day and that hour when God is going to visit you and your time has come and God expects you to rise and to stand up and be counted as one of his mighty persons of power. Hallelujah. There's an angel. There's angels all around us. There's angels, amen, that's watching you. There's angels, amen, that's going to come your way. There's angels. Make aware. Be conscious of things that happen in your life and understand, you know, that, that must have been my angel. That must have been an angel moving in my life. That, that, that must have been the, the Lord sent an angel to take care of me. Hallelujah. And so the angel says, oh Gideon, you're a great man of valor. God has a job for you. And he said, you go do what I tell you to do. He said, First of all, he was full of doubt. He said, God, we've been beat down. We've been stepped on. We have just all kinds of things. And where is the God of Israel? Lord, where are you? Where's all the miracles? Where's all the signs? Where's all the wonders? Amen. And the Lord said, Then you because you were afraid. Hallelujah. Because you were afraid. And you were afraid and let the enemy come and dominate you. Amen. Oh, make a pact with God today. I will not be dominated by the devil no more. I will not be dominated by, by false accusations. I will not be dominated by the spirit of darkness lying to me that will try to tell me that I'm nobody, that will try to tell me I cannot when I can. I will not be dominated. Praise the Lord. It's time, hallelujah, to rise up and be used of God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. It's time to allow God to lead you to a new place, a higher place. I'm not going to be dominated. So he told Gideon, he said, this is the recipe. He said, we're fixing, we're fixing to do serious damage to the Midianites. And so he said, I want you to invite all the men to come out. And I want you to meet with them. You're going to have a special meeting with the pastor in his office. So Gideon, the Lord told him, he said, now you tell all these people that are afraid and faint-hearted that don't want to go fight, you tell them to go home. Just go home. There was 22,000 people that showed up for the job. But then the Lord told those to go home and then he, he cut it down, I think it was 10,000. Stay. And the Lord told Gideon, he said, you, you got too many people still. There's too many people. And he said, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go down by the river and I want you to tell them all to drink. And those that get down on their belly and lap like a dog, put them on the side. But those that kneel down, with their hands, scoop up the water and drink. You know, good things don't happen on your knees. Hallelujah. Good things happen on your knees. And he said, those that drink like this, he said, those are the ones I want you to use. And there were 300. We're not talking about the Spartans here. Amen. We're talking about the 300 Israelites, amen, that God had chosen out of the whole nation of Andres, the whole nation of men, praise God, hallelujah. He chose out 10 of those 300 and he put them in order 
and they begin to get their orders from God as what to do. Of course, we know the story. He placed them all around on the hillsides and gave them a pitcher and a lamp. Hallelujah. And told them at the right time and at the right moment they will break the lamp and they will scream out, Hallelujah, the sword of the Lord and Gideon. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I'm still on the first page. I don't want to have to just skip some stuff. Amen. But, you know what the Lord spoke to me about that? I saw that. Amen. This, this is the message for the day. This is the message for the day. I wrote it down. In the midst of the crisis, God had an army. didn't see it. Gideon didn't see it. But God had an army. God had the people. Hallelujah. It was just now was the time. And so he, he raised up Gideon. And he weeded out all those that were not qualified. And he came down to his 300 men to be his army. And I say to you today, brothers and sisters today, God has an army and it's rising up. That's what's going on in Crossroads right now. The army is rising up. The army is rising up. The army is rising up. Some of you are doing ministries you have never done before. Hallelujah. Some of you have been made to be deacons. Some of you have become evangelists. Some of you have become missionaries. Hallelujah. Some of you have been operating in the gifts of the Spirit. Some of you have been doing things. God has raised up an army for the last days. God has raised up an army. Hallelujah. For this church. Praise God. That he has in this land and in this country. Amen. Don't you want to be a part of the army of God? Don't you want to surrender to the call of God? Don't you want to bow down for the Lord and say, Yes. Lord, light up my life, Jesus. Yes, Lord, let my seed grow. Yes, Lord, let the let the picture be broken. Let the light shine out of me, dear God. Let me go to places I've never gone before. Hallelujah. This church has an army rising up, and it's going to go throughout the whole land to the highlands, to the lowlands, uh, amen, to the valleys, we will rally, hallelujah, amen, there's no power that can stand before it, no power that can defeat this army, because this army is the army of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, and he is the king of kings, and he is the Lord of lords, and he is the mighty captain of this army, can I get a witness, if anybody gets excited, if anybody gets a message, if anybody feeling faith, if anybody feeling power in your life, glory to God. I can quit here and go home. Or we can come to the altar and confirm. It's me, Lord. Here I am. Praise God. I, well, I got so much to talk about. I got to talk about being ready. I got to talk about the trumpet sounding in your lives. I got to talk about the signs that God sends your way to let you know that He is fixing to do some things in your life. I am convinced, brothers and sisters, that God is talking to you. God is talking to you. Amen. Hallelujah. He's, he's just going straight to you in your bedroom at night. He's coming and you have a private moment during the day. Wherever you are, God is coming to you and He's talking to you Hallelujah, about being a part of the army. Amen. Amen. They that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Hallelujah. Amen. This is not a sick army. This is not a weak army. 
This is not an anemic army, hallelujah, but this is an army that's powerful with banners. This is an army that's, 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 that's powerful and horrible, amen, and it's strong, praise God, amen. I think it's in the, the, the Song of Solomon, I'm not for sure, but it talks about the, the stallion, the, the army going to battle, and even the horses in the army, uh, they know, they smell the battle afar off, and go, aha, aha, and the horses uh, charge in the battle, praise God. Amen. This is an army uh, that even the, the, the animals, uh, that even the horses uh, are ready to charge in the battle, praise God. And we who are the knights, uh, we who are the warriors, uh, we who are the cavalry, and we who are the footmen and the soldiers, uh, praise God, get ready, brother. Uh, amen. You can see it. you got to believe it. You see it. You've got to believe it. Amen. God is moving. God is working. Hallelujah. That's why people are going to Corfu. That's why we got folks in, 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 in Crete. That's why God is moving in Perea with the, the, the Spanish group. That's why God is moving here. That's why God is moving everywhere. That's the, the Calvary message. God is moving. I'm getting good testimonies from everywhere. Hallelujah. Oh, I want to be a part. 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 And I'm going to close on this note. If you want to be a part, you've got to do, you got to sign up. you got to register, amen, with the register of the army. Hallelujah. And you got to put your name on line. And you say, well, how do you do that? I'll tell you, it's real easy. There's a contract in the Bible. It's, it's in the first and second chapter of the book of Acts. It says, repent. Repent. you got to repent. Every one of you. And then you be baptized. And have them call the name of Jesus over you. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Evidenced by speaking in other tongues. Hallelujah. And then that gives you the power. The power. The power to defeat every enemy. Gives you the power to break the chains. To break every addiction that you have. To break every evil habit that has you under control. To break loose from this old world. To lay the world down, hallelujah, and rise up to walk in the newness of life. Let's stand together. Let's get a witness, hallelujah. Here I come, Lord. One, two, three, go with me, hallelujah. Amen, amen. Let's belong to the army of God. Is there any, are there anybody that recruits here today? Anybody that wants to say, Lord, uh, I repent of my sins. Uh, Lord, I want to get saved like the Bible says to get saved. Uh, maybe you've already been born again, but you've been living in cowardice. Uh, you've been hiding and, 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 and not using your gifts. Uh, you have never had that seed uh, that God has placed in your heart to have been germinated. Uh, is there anybody that wants to come to this altar today? Uh, would you come right now that Jesus is here? Uh, Jesus is in this house, praise God. Hurry up, come on, that's it. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, here I am, send me. Lord, here I am, God, send me. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. God, I am a recruit. Lord, I want to be a part of the army. Lord, I want to go when you say go. Lord, I want to stay when you say stay. Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to do what you have me to do. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, hear our cry and hear our plea. Oh, Lord, hear our cry and hear our plea, dear God. Come see about me, dear Lord Jesus. <laughs> Lord, let that Holy Ghost come down on me. Oh, Lord, let that seed become alive, dear God. Oh, Lord, let the seed come alive. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus, let that seed come alive.
Yeah.